The Women Divers Hall of Fame is proud to celebrate its 10th year anniversary. What better way to do so than to gather on the island of Bonaire, a diver's paradise? It's turned out to be a fantastic gathering of many different years of induction of members and we've had a fantastic week of diving. We have people from the first year, people that are going to be inducted. Like Deb Greenhall, inducted this year into the hall. I've been diving since 1977, so it's 33 years. I got the training to be able to help people with disabilities uh, be able to go in the water. Several influential women spanning many facets of the dive industry gathered together to celebrate. Here are just a few of their many impressive accomplishments. I was the first woman to dive on the Andrea Doria, and that took place in 1967. I'm able to still guide dives back 3,000 feet in a cave. That was one of the first women Navy divers. I was on several diving and salvage ships and eventually became in command of my own ship. Women in this organization prove that women are not only competent divers, they are excellent divers, they are excellent researchers, they are excellent workers. I happened to be the first civil engineer diver in the Navy. I went on to be the head of the Navy Civil Engineer Corps diving program. I was able to do things like dive under the ice in the Arctic. I became a diver in 1970 and found diving fascinating. As a PhD in biochemistry, I was interested in the physiological aspects of women divers. I was certified to dive in 1969 when I was in high school. I'm a biologist. I studied the physiology of ultra deep diving, meaning like 1,500 to 2,000 feet. And I specifically invented biochemical decompression. The women are all true professionals and wonderful people, and it's just been a remarkable week. I think one of the things that I'm able to do is to help people understand how they can help the reef in a personal way, which is something we don't have an opportunity to do very often. I started diving in 1977, and I became certified in 1978. I crewed on the boat called the RV Wahoo and we became famous for running charters to the Andrea Doria. I probably have the most dives of any woman on the Andrea Doria. I started diving in uh, 1974, was certified in 1975. I started taking diving medicine and hyperbaric medicine courses. That grew into um, an, an invitation to write a chapter for Bove and Davis's diving medicine book on women and diving. It's such an honor to be in such a renowned organization of women with such amazing backgrounds in diving industry. My partner Erin O'Neill and I began a company that specialized in training women to achieve the level of skills that would make them comfortable in the sport. We had a women-only dive firm and we wrote a series of articles on women in diving and a book. I actually started diving in the 50s because of Sea Hunt. I took my dad's uh, welding O2 bottles down underwater. And, uh, I got certified in 1970, but I had been diving since about 1964, 65, free diving mostly, and uh, helped design several of the first women's BCs and test them that were um, on the market. I was involved in getting three marine parks permanently established and uh, about 14 or 15 beach sites uh, from different park areas. I've published a, about 135 articles at this time. Now it's time to step back and take a look at the last 10 years. Armin Ziegen, the president of Beneath the Sea, had this idea to have an award at Beneath the Sea to salute the millennium, and it was going to be the greatest women divers of the 20th century. They needed to be world-renowned pioneers, leaders, innovators, and world record holders in all areas of the diving industry. It turned out that there was a huge number of women. In fact, the first year, they in ended up inducting 76 women into what later became the Women Divers Hall of Fame. 2002, we started our scholarship and training grant program so that we could basically pay it forward and give something back to the oceans, back to the diving community. 10 years later, this is our 10th anniversary, and we now have 176 women as of this year in the hall. It's just this incredible group and, and the, the talent and the expertise and the camaraderie of everybody is fantastic. I am so proud 
to be a member of this group.